In this video, I'm going to talk about variables uh, which are used within Microsoft Copilot Studio. Now, variables can be used to route users down different conversation paths. Now, variables can be sent to following systems as input parameters. So it is useful when you're using Power Automate flows or bot framework skills. Now, variable is an information captured and stored in Copilot so that it can be used later part in the conversation. Variables are created automatically when you add question note to a topic. When you redirect to another topic, you can pass values into variables in the destination topic. Now, as you see in this example, there are three different in uh, variables, custom variables, system variable, and environment variables. Now, environment variables lie at an environment level. Custom variable, you can create a custom variable on demand. System variables are some variable which gets automatically created when you provision a copilot. Basically, it provides contextual information about a user or a conversation. Now, there are different another type from variable type. I'll call this as topic variable, global variable, and environment variable. Environment variable we have just covered. Global variable uh, from a context perspective, it can be used in all the topics. So you, if you have 15 topics within your copilot, you can use global variable everywhere. Topic variable limits to a specific topic. It can be used in topic in which it is created. Variable action. So if you see in the screen, we can create a custom variable just by click, clicking on a button, create new, and then a custom variable gets created. Now, how do we create a variable? You just need to add a node and then from variable management, you can set a variable and you can clear all values of the variable as well. So you can pass values. So, so these are the different things which you can do. Now, once you create a variable, you can do a lot of things you can mark that variable as global if you select global then that variable can be marked as global uh, if you select a specific usage from a topic perspective you can specify whether that variable will receive values from other topics or return values to original topics so kind of in and out variables for a specific variable okay uh, for a specific topic now, if you have a topic and if you want to receive values from other topic, you can turn this on and then you will get context of the values from other topics as well. Again, this is deep programming. So what are the variable different data types? What you can do is like uh, if you select a variable, these are the different uh, drop values or filter uh, selections you get like boolean number float string date time table record choice but there are many other variable types which you can utilize in copilot so as you see in this example this is an example of a record so if you want to create a variable and the variable name needs to be of type record then use a curly brace and then put it in a json format okay and you can loop in as well so as you see over here there's name Kirish profile and then it is using another curly braces so you can loop that further and this will create a record type similarly if you type in number it will automatically detect the number data type you need not specify the data type in advance because it will automatically interpret now if you have a GUID you can uh, it will automatically select the GUID data type then there is a table data type uh, but remember that table data type uh, has some sort of a syntax defined. Okay, so I'm automatically using system.client plugin actions, and that's why it is showing me the type as table. So we can have a variable of type table. If you type in just string, you can have a variable of type string. Date is in a specific format. You use yyy dot comma mm comma dd, and then it will automatically sense that it is a date data type. Similarly, for time, again, it's in the bracket format. Uh, you put R minute seconds. Uh, and then from a table perspective, you need to type in a uh, in a square bracket. And then all the value should be of one data type. Now, as you see over here, it all the value belongs to string. Now, you can put uh, in a square bracket 1, 2, 3. And then it will assume that this is a table of type integer. Right. And if you put uh, if you want to put a floating type, you just use the power of X function float and then you can assign those variable from a viewing variable perspective. If you go into any specific copilot and then you click on variables for that specific topic here, you will see all the topics, global variable and environmental variable. Now, there are different out of the box variable which are available. Now, there is one is activity variable. So if you want to track all the information with regards to the activity, then you can use this variable like 
if you want to understand the activity type text the value recipient name name a channel id channel data attachments so all those things can be done using activity variable then there is a special variable called as bot variable so if you want to know the environment id or the bot id or the bot name or the schema name or the tenant id you can use a bot variable now i've given you an example on the right hand side Similarly, we have a conversation variable. If you want to know the local time zone, the offset, uh, whether it's in test mode or what is the conversation ID, you can use the conversation variable. Similarly, there's a user variable. If you want to know who is logged in, what's the display name, email, first name, user ID, is logged in, language, last name, principal name. So all this can be done using user variable. Uh, other type, uh, client plugin action. If you want to know the last message ID or last message text, if you want to know the recognize a trigger message uh, ID or the text, you can use this variable. Now let's quickly jump into the demo. So this is one of the co-pilot which I have created. Now, if you go into any of the topics, so if I'm uh, going into say one topic, so this is a cricket topic, okay? Now, if you go into the topic here, you will see variables, right? Now here, here you will see there is a topic variable, there is a global variable, and there's an environment variable. Now for this particular specific topic, you do not have a topic or a global variable. Now, in order to create that, what you need to do is you click on this node. So I'll just click on this node and then there is an option called variable management. I'll just say set a variable value. Now, when I set a variable value, I can select a variable. Okay, so I can specify what variable I want. Okay, so I can select a system variable or I can select a custom. Now, if I select custom, click on create new and this is the name of the variable var1 okay now as you see over here in topic one you have got var1 now i can name this as var text okay now you cannot set the data type of this variable it has to be interpreted so i if i put var text and if i put two value as a just say girish okay so if i go to formula and i'll just say type as Girish, it is not recognizing it, right? It is it is not letting me uh, type in anything, okay? Now, if I just put double quotes, let's see what happens. It has understood that it's a string. I'll click on insert. And then it has automatically assumed that this is of var type text, right? Similarly, let's create an, another variable. Let's go to var here and now set a date variable. So I'll create an another variable. So let go. Let us go to custom. Create a new variable, and this time I'll click on it, and then I'll call it as var date. Okay. Now the data type is shown as unknown. Now if I again click on two value, I'll click here. I'll go to formula, and then I'll just type in date. Okay. And let me put twenty twenty four zero eight and zero two, and just close it and it has recognized this is of date data type. And if I click on insert here, the data type will be recognized as date. So I'll click on insert and then it has recognized the date variable. So like this, we can set various variable. We can uh, also store a table as well. So if I go to variable management, set a variable and I'll just select a variable, create a new variable. And this time I'll just name this as where table. And if I go into two value, go into the formula and then from here i will just type in one comma two comma three comma four or five close the bracket it has understood it's a table and here insert it will show you the variable table as table type similarly if i go here variable management set a variable value and this time i'm going to uh, set a time uh, variable type so where time and again go to two value go into the formula effects time and then i'll just say 12 comma 3 comma 4 and it has recognized this as a time insert and this is a variable of type time so like this we can uh, set variable uh, data type uh, it can be as complex as you want uh, now if i click on add node now let me do one thing if i click on set a variable now if i pick up any variable i'll create a new variable from a two value perspective, instead of going into formula, I will select whatever is available as a part of the system. Now, if I want to know what is the name of the say bot, okay, so the bot.id, 
Now, if I click on bot ID, then it has recognized that this is of type string, right? Uh, now, uh, bot ID is of type string. Now, let me remove this and again go back here and just type in bot and select system. And here, if I type in tenant ID, bot.tenant ID, this is of type GUID. So if I select bot.tenant ID, then here you will see this is of type GUID. So you can have various different different types. Again, if I go here, variable management, set a variable value, select a variable, create a new variable, click on to value. And now this time from the system, if I just type in plugin and say client.plugin action, this is of type table. So it has taken the values of type table. Now we have created a lot of variables. Let's go into variable and here you will see we have created topic variables. So many topic variables we have created. Now this checkbox indicates that this receives values from other topics. Now if I say this receives value from topic and this returns value to original topic, I can do all the selection over here, right? So that means this variable, if it is used in multiple topics, this can receive and send across the value. So we can do that as well. Also, if you want to know the global variable, now there is no global variable over here. So what we can do, we will create one more variable and I'll call it as var global Girish. Okay, so set a variable value, select here, create a new variable and where Girish global. So now this is a global variable. How do you set a global variable? You need to select from here. It says global, any topic can access, allow to carry between session, external sources can set value, and that's it. You have set a global variable. And now I can set in some values, okay? So this is of, this should be uh, of type string, and it has recognized this. And I'll click on save. This topic has one error. Let me see what that error is, but then it will start saving the topic. So what we have done, we have created one global variable. What we have done, we have created multiple variables. So as you see over here, we have created six variable and now we have one global variable. Now global variable is where Girish global variable, which we can use in another topic. So let me jump into another topic. So if I go into say Girish multi-topic one, and if I go to variable, I should be able to see this. Okay, so in this bot, within any of the custom topic, I should be able to see this global variable and I can utilize that. Now, again, going back to uh, the topic, say cricket topic over here. Now, when we created this variable, say let's let me go into say one of the variables, say var date. Now here, there is an option which says receive values from other topic and return values to original topic. So if I select both for var date, the changes where it makes is here, where date, right? So either you can make the change here or you can make the change in the interface itself. So this is how you basically uh, utilize variable within your application. So that's it, folks. This is all about variables within Microsoft Copilot Studio. It will help you in defining the flow, utilizing variable, passing information from one topic to another and utilizing the system variable, which is available out of the box. So thanks for watching.